Giraffe The giraffe, giraffa, is an African artiodactyl mammal, the tallest living terrestrial animal and the largest ruminant. It is traditionally considered to be one species, Giraffa camelopardalis, with nine subspecies. However, the existence of up to eight extant giraffe species has been described, based upon research into the mitochondrial and nuclear DNA, as well as morphological measurements of giraffe. Seven other species are extinct, prehistoric species known from fossils. The giraffe's chief distinguishing characteristics are its extremely long neck and legs, its horn-like ossicones, and its distinctive coat patterns. It is classified under the family Giraffidae, along with its closest extant relative, the Akapi. Its scattered range extends from Chad in the north to South Africa in the south, and from Niger in the west to Somalia in the east. Giraffes usually inhabit savannas and woodlands. Their food source is leaves, fruits and flowers of woody plants, primarily acacia species, which they browse at heights most other herbivores cannot reach. Giraffes may be preyed on by lions, leopards, spotted hyenas and African wild dogs. Giraffes live in herds of related females and their offspring, or bachelor herds of unrelated adult males, but are gregarious and may gather in large aggregations. Males establish social hierarchies through necking, which are combat bouts where the neck is used as a weapon. Dominant males gain mating access to females, which bear the sole responsibility for raising the young. The giraffe has intrigued various cultures, both ancient and modern, for its peculiar appearance, and has often been featured in paintings, books, and cartoons. It is classified by the International Union for Conservation of Nature as vulnerable to extinction, and has been extirpated from many parts of its former range. Giraffes are still found in numerous national parks and game reserves but estimates as of 2016 indicate that there are approximately 97,500 members of giraffe in the wild. More than 1,600 were kept in zoos in 2010. Appearance and anatomy. Fully grown giraffes stand 4.3 to 5.7 meters tall, with males taller than females. The tallest recorded male was 5.88 meters and the tallest recorded female was 5.17 meters tall. The average weight is 1,192 kilograms for an adult male and 828 kilograms for an adult female with maximum weights of 1,930 kilograms and 1,180 kilograms having been recorded for males and females, respectively. Despite its long neck and legs, the giraffe's body is relatively short. Located at both sides of the head, the giraffe's large, bulging eyes give it good all-round vision from its great height. Giraffes see in color and their senses of hearing and smell are also sharp. The animal can close its muscular nostrils to protect against sandstorms and ants. The giraffe's prehensile tongue is about 45 centimeters long. It is purplish black in color, perhaps to protect against sunburn, and is useful for grasping foliage, as well as for grooming and cleaning the animal's nose. The upper lip of the giraffe is also prehensile and useful when foraging, and is covered in hair to protect against thorns. The tongue and inside of the mouth are covered in papillae. The coat has dark blotches or patches, which can be orange, chestnut, brown, or nearly black in color, separated by light hair, usually white or cream in color. Male giraffes become darker as they age. The coat pattern has been claimed to serve as camouflage in the light and shade patterns of savanna woodlands. When standing among trees and bushes, they are hard to see at even a few meters distance. However, adult giraffes move about to gain the best view of an approaching predator, relying on their size and ability to defend themselves rather than on camouflage, which may be more important for calves. Each individual giraffe has a unique coat pattern. Giraffe calves inherit some coat pattern traits from their mothers, and variation in some spot traits are correlated with neonatal survival. The skin underneath the blotches may serve as windows for thermoregulation, being sites for complex blood vessel systems and large sweat glands. The skin of a giraffe is mostly gray, or tan. Its thickness allows the animal to run through thorn bushes without being punctured. The fur may serve as a chemical defense, as its parasite repellents give the animal a characteristic scent. At least 11 main aromatic chemicals are in the fur, although indole and 3-methylenol are responsible for most of the smell. Because the males have a stronger odor than the females, the odor may also have sexual function. Along the animal's neck is a mane made of short, erect hairs. The one-meter tail ends in a long, dark tuft of hair and is used as a defense against insects. Both sexes have prominent horn-like structures called ossicones, which are formed from ossified cartilage, covered in skin and fused to the skull at the parietal bones. 
being vascularized, the ossicones may have a role in thermoregulation, and are also used in combat between males. Appearance is a reliable guide to the sex or age of a giraffe, the ossicones of females and young are thin and display tufts of hair on top, whereas those of adult males end in knobs and tend to be bald on top. Also, a median lump, which is more prominent in males, emerges at the front of the skull. Males develop calcium deposits that form bumps on their skulls as they age. A giraffe's skull is lightened by multiple sinuses. However, as males age, their skulls become heavier and more club-like, helping them become more dominant in combat. The upper jaw has a grooved palate and lacks front teeth. The giraffe's molars have a rough surface. The giraffe has an extremely elongated neck, which can be up to 2 to 2.4 meters in length, accounting for much of the animal's vertical height. The long neck results from a disproportionate lengthening of the cervical vertebrae, not from the addition of more vertebrae. Each cervical vertebra is over 28 centimeters long. They comprise 52 to 54 percent of the length of the giraffe's vertebral column, compared with the 27 to 33 percent typical of similar large ungulates, including the giraffe's closest living relative, the acarpi. This elongation largely takes place after birth, perhaps because giraffe mothers would have a difficult time giving birth to young with the same neck proportions as adults. The giraffe's head and neck are held up by large muscles and a strengthened nuchal ligament, which are anchored by long dorsal spines on the anterior thoracic vertebrae, giving the animal a hump. There are several hypotheses regarding the evolutionary origin and maintenance of elongation in giraffe necks. The competing browsers hypothesis was originally suggested by Charles Darwin and challenged only recently. It suggests that competitive pressure from smaller browsers, such as Kudu, Steenbock and Impala, encouraged the elongation of the neck, as it enabled giraffes to reach food that competitors could not. This advantage is real, as giraffes can and do feed up to 4.5 meters high, while even quite large competitors, such as Kudu, can feed up to only about 2 meters high. There is also research suggesting that browsing competition is intense at lower levels, and giraffes feed more efficiently, gaining more leaf biomass with each mouthful, high in the canopy. However, scientists disagree about just how much time giraffes spend feeding at levels beyond the reach of other browsers, and a 2010 study found that adult giraffes with longer necks actually suffered higher mortality rates under drought conditions than their shorter necked counterparts. This study suggests that maintaining a longer neck requires more nutrients, which puts longer neck giraffes at risk during a food shortage. Another theory, the sexual selection hypothesis, proposes that the long necks evolved as a secondary sexual characteristic, giving males an advantage in necking contests to establish dominance and obtain access to sexually receptive females. In support of this theory, necks are longer and heavier for males than females of the same age, and the former do not employ other forms of combat. However, one objection is that it fails to explain why female giraffes also have long necks. It has also been proposed that the neck serves to give the animal greater vigilance. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video please like and subscribe.